everybody, this is Christian from Hopworks Urban Brewery. I want to show you our new Wild Goose MC500. It's responsible for taking cans from this to this at a rate of about 70 a minute. It's a high quality inline fill. We've arranged a real nice tight footprint and I want to take you around and show you what's up. So the most important thing is to send a great quality beer that's ready to be put in the can. In this case, we've got three packaging tanks that have jackets on them. The cooler temperature is 38, but that machine is not like 38 degree beer. It loves 32 to 33 degree beer. So we have jackets on these to draw the temp down. Now it's ready for the package. All right, our cans of Abominable are staged. We're doing 16 ounce cans. This is the in feed to our depalletizer, and basically this will index layer by layer and sweep onto a shaker table, which will feed the twist rinses. Depalletizer indexes about this height. We're about 10 feet in the air at the moment. The table here has a, a vibrator, which will shake the cans and help them index into these twist rinsers, and it will drop down to uh, operator height on the ground, get filled, and that's where we're headed next. So the cans are coming down from the twist rinser, getting rinsed four at a time. When they hit this lower conveyor, these fill tubes will then fill the can from the bottom up. And it rolls here to this little lifter table. The lifter table will push the can up where it meets the two chucks to get the double seam. This is cam operated seamer, 35 cans a minute per machine. So two machines, 35, gives us right around 70 when the beer is cold and it's running sweet. And now we got a full can coming out the other side meets a transverse belt, marches down here, merges with the other lane. This is a fun little tunnel twist rinser. All this incising on the end of the can here can be potential uh, points for corrosion or erosion. So you want to avoid that at all costs. You don't want any spent beer on top of the can, otherwise you might uh, have some problems in storage. So we're now on the other side of our X-ray level detector. Say this one's a couple mils low, it'll get shot out onto this table, and that's usually employee beer. For us as uh, brewers, we want to get high yield. If you can get somewhere in the neighborhood of you know less than 5% rejection, you're running really, really sweet. Beer's cold and everything's working properly. 492. So this fantastic machine is known as the CC120. It'll handle 120 cans a minute while it applies these four pack holders. This machine's made in Eugene, Oregon. The ringers are made in Eugene, Oregon at a 99% post-consumer recycled material. We'll stack them nine high, 72 cases per pallet. You can see the different flavors we got going. Abominable is a quarterly seasonal, lager year-round, IPA year-round. Hopefully, if everything's running great, you're getting 150 cases an hour of beer that's extremely high quality and something you can be proud of. The layout's tight, no utilities on the ground, everything's overhead. So you should have a good working environment that's not only safe, but produces great beer as well. So those things coming together mean you can produce beer that you're proud of and will ultimately sell it crazy on the shelf.